Sorghum is primarily grown in the dry agroecology subject to low rainfall and drought. Most such areas are unsuitable for the production of other grains. It is grown in both rainy season as well as post rainy season. Sorghum is the fifth most important cereal crop and is the dietary staple of more than 500 million people in over 90 countries, primarily in the developing world. It is grown across 47 million hectares in 104 countries in Asia, Africa, Oceania and the Americas. It is an important source of dry matter to both milch and draft animals in mixed crop livestock systems. Post rainy sorghum is a major food and fodder crop in India, grown on 4.5 million hectares, predominantly in dryland areas of Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh states, where there is no alternative food and fodder crop for millions of farmers in these regions. This crop is grown under residual soil moisture. The productivity of this crop is 0.7 tons per hectare and there are no heterotic hybrids available to increase its productivity. Select medium to heavy type soils after harvesting Karif legume crop. Prepare land by two harrowing across the slope. Moisture can be conserved if the rains are received during the growing season. The best suitable sorghum varieties recommended for sowing are Fule Yashoda or CSV216R, Parbhani Moti and CSH15R. Seed treatment with imidacloprid of 4 to 5 mm per kilogram protects the crop during the seedling stage from infestation by shoot fly. The crop is susceptible in early stages from germination to 25 days. For better protection, seeds are treated by using manually operated seed treatment drums for uniform coating of chemical to seed. First fortnight of October is the best time for sowing sorghum. The recommended amount of seeds to be sown per hectare is 10 kilograms. The line showing is adopted and latter ridges and furrows are made during the intercultural operations. User-friendly seed cum fertilizer drills enable the sorghum farmer to maintain optimum plant population per unit area as they maintain uniform spacing between rows and plants. 45 cm by 15 cm effectively. A basal dose of 40 kg of nitrogen and 20 kg of phosphorus per hectare at the time of sowing. A pre-emergence weedicide called atrazine is sprayed at 1000 grams per hectare immediately after sowing to check the weeds. Timely intercultural operations at 25 to 30 days after sowing with manual or tractor drawn weeder are effective in controlling the weeds and in effective use of available moisture by the crop. There are a couple of important pests on sorghum like shoot fly, aphids and stem borer. To control shoot fly, spray endosulfan at 2 mm per liter. Normal duration of the crop is 110 to 120 days. Crop can be harvested at physiological maturity, which can be judged by looking at the grain developing black spot on the Hilla region. By doing so, farmers can harvest 10 to 15 days before normal duration of the crop. Post rainy sorghum grain is used as a staple food in many semi arid tropics regions and its flour is used for making chapatis or rotis which are widely used in rural India. It is a main staple in the diet of African people and its decorticated grain is used as porridge. Sorghum grain flour is also used in preparation of bakery items like biscuits, bread cakes etc. 
and the whole grain is also used for making pops. Grain is feed to animals and poultry. Sorghum fits very well in crop livestock system in semi-arid tropics regions. After harvesting the crop, the stalks are heaped and can be stored for a long time for future use. The stalks, stover, are directly used as a feed for livestock. Stalks are also used in chopped form and sometimes added with nutrients and made into feed. The stover is highly suitable for silage preparation. It is chopped and made into briquettes and in extruded form to feed the livestock. Briquettes and extruded pellets can be stored for a long time and occupies less storage space and more efficient feed for animals without any significant trade-offs in grain production. Sorghum used as a food, feed, fodder, fuel, fiber and serves as one of the best multi-purpose crops 